What's going on my Cardano friends, it's your friend Jack here and recently I ran into an article talking about three reasons why Cardano price could tank to 50 cents in the coming days and I wanted to share my thoughts on this article as well as just you know go over the reasons for this huge price jump on the downside of things. Now I personally believe even if Cardano does go to 50 cents as I mentioned in a video just yesterday if it crashes to one dollar or less I personally still am very bullish on it long term and I do believe in the project. If you want to check out this video on why um, why I'm bullish and also what I would do if it were to crash, then go check that out right here. Pretty short video and informative video. But yeah, I did make a video on that. It's kind of a follow-up video in a sense. But I want to go over these three reasons why Cardano price could crash at 50 cents in the coming days, although I think it's very unlikely because of all the you know, strong community members around Cardano, I want to still go over this article with you guys today. So Cardano price has been on a parabolic explosion since 2020 of December without any reasonable corrections. Um, I'm not sure if I agree with this article too much already because I do believe there has been a decent correction from the high of $2.46 back in May. Uh, we're already down to $1.50. Although it is, uh, the article is right and we have definitely seen some parabolic explosion uh, since you know the start of the year along with the rest of the crypto space. So the number of underwater investors who purchased ADA at a local top has grown in, grown in numbers. Um, so obviously more people are getting interested in Cardano and the price has been going down lately. So not as many people are in profit, but I do think overall more or less people are kind of in profit compared to some other coins like Bitcoin and other you know similar cryptocurrencies like you know maybe Ethereum with there have been crashes. Another thing they highlight in the start of this is retail holders are increasing and whales are offloading their holdings. I do think this is a lot um, on the side of retail holders uh, being a beneficial factor in this, meaning there's less kind of control from whales, more retail holders. Maybe it's not a good sign institutionally, but I do think for the long term side of things, if retail holders are, you know, holding the majority of Cardano, it's going to allow uh, hopefully a more strong system i know retail holders typically do panic sell more often but i think the cardano community is a little bit different in that sense where there's a lot more people who are really invested in the project and want to see um, you know long-term growth in the project and they don't want to just panic sell if the price gets low actually m most people watching this video are probably on that side of the fence um, people that are holding and retail holders that are watching this video you guys probably don't plan on selling your cardano anytime soon this at least that's what i'm getting from the comments on these videos so yeah stay strong and a diamond hand through the dips cardano price has been a top performer that was leading the bull run in return on investment input output hong kong developers pursued several major updates to the blockchain this bull run which has improved the utility drastically um, obviously there's still the argument to be made that there's still not that much utility smart contracts aren't there at all but smart contracts are coming with alonzo blue in the coming months probably going to be on the main network and official released anytime from august to september uh, this year so very soon this is also going to be a price catalyst in the months prior leading up to that event aka this month and next month so one thing this article does mention is that ADA hasn't seen a significant healthy pullback relative to its massive explosive run up. And while this is sort of true, um, they are mentioning that investors should be wary of this coin, especially if significant supports give away. This is also true, but if you're holding long term, it doesn't matter as much. And if you do believe in this project and you do believe it's going to go back up, then you're probably not going to be taking that much of a risk. Obviously, Cardano could go under, things could go bad, but I really don't believe that's going to happen. If it is going to happen, you have to remember that I personally am not worried because I only have as much money as I'm willing to lose inside of my investments in cryptocurrency. So also keep that in mind when you're watching my videos. So Cardano hit an all-time price of $2.51 on May 16th and has become, you know, on the downside of things ever since that all-time high along with the rest of the crypto markets in terms of its bitcoin comparison and how it's doing against bitcoin it's actually doing really well they don't mention that in this article i don't believe it is holding its ground with bitcoin and i do like that a lot and so far the ethereum killer cardano um, has dropped roughly 41 percent and shows signs that it could go lower possibly it could okay and now they're the third reason or the reason behind the bear sentiment around Cardano's price stems from two reasons, okay? 
the cryptocurrency market structure basically bitcoin going down uh, then the rest of the crypto market will follow and weak recovery after recent crashes on ada's on-chain metrics so as i just mentioned bitcoin does kind of lead the market in the crypto space and the prices of all the altcoins including cardano and there is an eyeing potential head and shoulders pattern that could send the entire market spiraling and this obviously would affect cardano and considering ada's strong correlation with btc if the overall market takes a nosedive cardano price will likely follow suit as i mentioned earlier so as cardano trades above two stable support levels of 140 and 98 cents uh, the prospects of a downswing multiplies okay so the more it trades above these support levels that you know the times it could hit a correction obviously do increase or we could form some new supports it really depends on how long we're going to consolidate for and it's really hard to tell no one knows where the market's going to go these are just pretty much speculation and statements the things that could happen keep that in mind when you're watching these videos these are speculative videos no one really knows for certain what could happen there's news and media things that change all of this kind of things but it's still you know fun to know and good to keep in mind so shattering that 98 cent support level will open the floodgates triggering a 46 percent downswing to probably 50 cents or 57 percent correction to 41 cents so this is what they're mentioning at the top of the article three reasons why it could go down to 50 cents if it does break that support level it would be spiraling downwards most likely this is a good reason but i don't think it's going to break that support level personally if it does i'm holding either way um so yeah but yeah this is the mainly the whole article i just want to put this video out there for you guys if you want to check out this video on what i would do if cardano crashes then feel free to check it out it'll be linked down in the description and on the screen probably right now Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have a great freaking day and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out, my Cardano friends.